sight for sore eyes. First MLB team to have seven homers and two of them being grand slams in major league history. Nice feather in the cap. Uh, shades of the Marlins, 29 runs, 20, 20 runs on 20 hits. That's a master of efficiency. And talk about taking a year's uh, worth of offensive frustration and struggles out on one pitcher. It was chuck and duck season for Tyler Anderson and Souvenir City for <laughs> that Atlanta crowd. Truist Park was bumping and it was absolutely fantastic. Slam Lana has a good ring to it. Ronald Acuna Jr. getting it started with a Picasso Butamus, Butamus swing, Oppo chop shot for the first Grand Slam. He had five RBIs on the night. Um, absolutely incredible stuff. And then Ozzy had uh, three extra base hits, I believe, and a couple of walks. And his homer was a Bryson DeChambeau or Tiger Woods one iron. Uh, Stinger absolutely crushed it, stayed on his changeup so, so nicely for a two-run shot. And then Austin Riley, those extra base hits are coming in bunches, boys. He had three extra base hits, including a double, his first career multi-homer game. The first one was a visit to the Hank Aaron Terrace. Absolutely destroyed that baseball. The ultimate control up delete. The second one was a lumberjack. Uh, strength type of homer, crushed a Trajan tree, fastball, and then Marcelo Zuna had a solo shot, had a couple of doubles as well. Um, his homer was a heat-seeking missile line drive shot over the 375 sign. Selfie time, and then Dansby Swanson, who's hotter than the surface of, uh, dancing bobcat on the surface of the sun with an 8 for 16, with a bunch of extra base hits and a bunch of doubles, got in on the homer fun with a 435-foot uh, blast. Absolutely destroyed it into smithereens, into the garage. Absolutely incredible stuff. And then for the ultimate cherry on top, Ed here at Rianza wanted, wanted to get in on the fun. A double-decker grand slam. Chop shot absolutely crushed it off of Wilmer Defoe. Absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, one, one for one, four RBIs and a trot. That's a good night at the ball yard for, uh, for Ad here. Just such an incredible night. We did the little things too offensively. Uh, manufacturing the first one with a uh, two out double by Ozzy after Ronald let it off with a single. Freddie with a productive uh, advance on a long fly ball to center. Uh, Marcel on a productive ground out. So we did the little things too. Uh, Dansby let off an inning with a double and then Ian got the bun down very, very nicely. Also can't forget Ian Anderson. It, it lost in all the uh, offensive mega fireworks where the Friday night fireworks probably ran out of fireworks to shoot off. There was so much excitement. Uh, Marcel probably ran out of battery on his phone and Panda, Panda's arms probably got tired with all the excitement, but Panda can never get tired of hugging, I guess. It was absolutely incredible. But Ian Anderson, six innings, six hits, shutout ball, zero walks, six strikeouts, and the most pivotal was the first inning got in a little trouble. First and second, uh, single by Frazier and Newman, but he was able to work out of it with some high cheese to Gregory Polanco and get Stalling to ground out to end that threat. And it allowed us to uh, start our offensive heroics. And sometimes it's really hard to pitch with that big of a lead, but he just kept mowing them down. And after that first inning where he threw about uh, 25 pitches, he was able to just settle down and mow him down, and it was fantastic. Fantastic to watch Ian Anderson. Absolutely incredible. Offense broke out. So, so much fun. As always, go Braves. I hope you enjoyed my live as well.